How's it going, Fish Fam? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're here to check out a couple more episodes of One Piece, and holy shit, I am broken out all over the fucking golly, bro. Anyways, the videos that are currently airing on the channel are for the Grandpa Ryu filler arc. Um, that's what's coming out on the channel this week while I'm filming. What I plan on doing from here on out is not posting the filler arcs onto my main channel um i'm i'm probably still gonna like film a react for them or like film or like maybe binge watch them later after i'm done with the arc something like that like spend a lot of extra time editing because i do all of the editing myself on this channel um that being said i did have a lot of you in the comments on those videos who gave me a lot of really good feedback as far as what filler a lot of people care about so i'm not like skipping you know necessarily filler that people would actually want to watch here on youtube it's just skipping filler that you know people might otherwise not be interested in um when we last left off we <laughs> brother <laughs> leo you gotta chill bro Mr. Two is kind of saying, yeah, we need to hurry up and kill Mr. Three or else they're going to send Mr. One after me to come kill me. Um, so I imagine in these next couple of episodes, we might have a run in with Mr. Two. I I I'm curious as to whether or not he's going to like know that Luffy was a job for Mr. Three or if he's just going to be like, yeah, I'm just here to find and kill Mr. Three. So I don't really care about all that. You know what I mean? Um, but Either way, let's just get into it. Wait, don't look. Uh, I'm very curious because I was looking at the boat and his boat looks like a pig. I'm pretty sure. Pig, okay, pig pirates. Okay. I thought that was Mr. Two's boat. Wait, are we actually getting to Alabasta this episode? I, I did not think we were going to be getting to Alabasta this episode, if I'm being honest. Ah, that's how Crocodile got them on their side. Because he goes around killing all the pirates. I'm not here to help you. I'm just here to get the bag. Alabasta's guardian angel, yeah? I, I think I think he'll be able to take you guys on, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Lay down on the ground? Yeah, is he just going to behead everyone? Yep, devil fruit, get fucked. Don't, don't gar of the sand me, brother! Sand burial! My name is Crocodile of the Desert. Oh, shit! He does not have Gara's power. He has fucking, uh, the mummy's power from... The mummy. What the fuck? The name of the mummy from the mummy. Yo, is editing game. I just remembered the name of the mummy from the. I didn't. E I swear to God, I didn't even have to Google it. Just randomly, it's Imhotep. I don't know why I remembered it, but just Imhotep. Please, please let me know in the comments. He's winning the hearts of the people. Nefertari Cobra. That and that's Vivi's dad, yeah. So her name is Vivi Cobra. What? Why is Zoro and Con? Did Sanji beat up Zoro? Bro, you ate all the food, brother. <laughs> Bro, he gaslit him into telling on himself. Oh. A lockable refrigerator. Bro, they're all eating too. Oh no. Uh, bro, he's gonna clap all those nog. Yep. <laughs> bro ate the bait? Yeah? He ate worms? <laughs> they're using Karu as bait? Yeah? Karu the bait? Yeah, what the fuck is that? Oh, true, true, true. That makes sense, actually. <laughs> Bro simps over everything. 
Oh shit. They're gonna crash, no? Because they're going different directions, right? Or they're coming from different directions? So they're just gonna crash into each other, right? No shot, dude! <laughs> they caught him on the fishing poles, bro! Okay, Mr. Two is not a Devil Fruit user. We can- oh. May- maybe he's a, a Devil Fruit user? If he was a Devil Fruit user, he would have just immediately sunk, right? I don't know. I don't know. I, I still don't understand that, I guess. Someone- someone let me know. <laughs> Alright. Okay, there we go. Answers that question. Yes, show us your power. Oh. Does, does he also get the powers that they have? What? Come on, man! How are you gonna do fan service and fan disservice at the same time? Oh! He impersonated the king? Is, is BB gonna start a fight? <laughs> Do not play the fucking theme music in the background like this is a sad farewell. Wait, you knew- yeah, you knew all that and you didn't know it was him? We gotta put him on ice chopper. Oh! Did we catch one? That... That is not food. Wait, is it food? I didn't think that was edible. Bro, we gotta eat that cat. Oh yeah, and Chopper, meanwhile, is just seeing, like, everything for the first time, so he thinks it's sick. Shut the fuck up, bro! That time I fought monsters in the fucking comm belt. Baroque Works is just waiting for pirates to enter the Alabasta area, huh? Okay, I was about to say, oh, the, the Elite 200, I was like, didn't Zoro already clap all of those guys by himself? Ah, so that way if he tries to change into them, they'll know which one is the real one. That's a good idea. <laughs> exactly, my man Sanji, bro. He's like, why would I care about that, bro? Transform into a buff fucking reindeer and beat him up. Hell yeah. Yeah, don't just go in there being fucking reckless. Also, don't say, hey, we're pirates to the first person you meet, okay? Regardless of the fact that I just said it, I just gave Luffy some of the best advice he's ever gotten in his entire life. He is not going to listen to me, right? First person we see on this island, he's gonna say, hi, we're pirates. I'm gonna be king of the pirate. The first thing he does, I feel like, We've had a lot of emotional development throughout the show so far, like throughout this arc of the show, I mean, but I feel like from this point on, at least for like the next like 10 episodes or so, we're just going to have people throwing straight hands. I could be wrong about that, but I, I think that's probably going to be the case. Um, anyways, let's just go to the next episode. Bro is eating his shoe. I mean, not like it matters, right? Bro always has those piggies barking. What the fuck? What the fuck does that mean? 
Wait, don't look. Bro, I like that in Alabasta, which looks like basically a desert island, the main villain we're fighting is Crocodile, who has like the devil root powers of the mummy. <laughs> like, that's so fucking funny. He has mummy powers. Yeah, they're wanted, right? Or they ran away. Yeah. Oh, did they already get spotted? Oh. Mr. Three's ship? Yeah. Bro, I fucking knew it! Nobody dies! Is your idea to wear a mask? Nope. That's not a mask. I thought, you know, Usopp's gonna come up with a good idea. He's gonna have them all wear masks. It's like a desert island. They can just, you know, have, like, head coverings. But yeah, everyone's there to kill. Because <laughs> Sanji's the only one they haven't seen. Exactly. Nami's just there. <laughs> Nami's the only one who's just there about her coins. 400,000? Yeah. Bro, she's such a scumbag. You guys are, yeah, you guys are so fucking recognizable. Just send Chopper and Sanji in, though. Yeah. Uh, but Chopper, no, nobody... Bro, I, I feel like there is still a problem. Because this is a desert island. And you're a fucking reindeer. Walking around with a dude in a black suit. Tabasco. Bro just wants to make his spicy bullets. How did he get lost? You were in the middle of a desert. There was only one town there. How did you get lost? If there's smoke, that means there's food, right? <laughs> it's deer meat. <laughs> Bro, that's fucked up. It's deer meat. <laughs> Bro is just walking around hitting on people. Instead of doing his fucking job. Bro is clearly not going shopping. And it's not like Chopper can do anything by himself. Because he's a fucking deer. Do not go inside of that. Do not- do- do not- no. I was wrong. The next six episodes are not going to be people throwing hands. It's going to be some of the dumbest decision making in all of anime history. Bro, they should not be playing this sound. Uh, he actually went shopping. Holy shit. I'm so shocked, actually. They should not be playing this. They need to be playing some clown shit. That's what they need to be playing. Fucking clown music. Do not steal their food. Do not steal their food. Oh, is this... It Wait, did Luffy by accident go to wherever they're taking Chopper right now? Nope. Bro is burning everything, yeah? I'm the guy whose shit you just burned, bro. <laughs> Damn, bro is dancing. Uh, I don't think this is a fight you want, little buddy. Dance powder or no? I, I think you, you want to just let this one go. Damn. Why are they buying- Oh no. The, they're- they're trying to go against the government, right? They're buying rifles to fight the government? Is- is that what's going on here? 300,000 from the royal army are just like abandoning? I mean, I guess I don't know how many people are on the island, so... I don't know how big a percentage that is, but I'm assuming it's pretty fucking big. Ch bro, how do you not notice there's a whole deer on your camel? Yeah, bro changed his tune once Luffy beat the shit out of him, huh? Ah! So when he burned it, it caused rain? Yeah, bro, you see how this- you see how everything is sand? Trying to make money off a drought. Bro, everyone in One Piece is a scumbag. Nami most of all. She's like, she's only trying to help the government so she can get uh, the bag. Uh -huh. 
Sanji, once again, Sanji on top. Sanji number one. Sanji is a fucking goat for this. Sanji is out here doing the Lord's work. He's my hero. In fact, uh, the editor me, show a picture of Sanji and play that song. I can be your hero, baby. Yeah, bro. The, the, that's not even a question. They were already going to do that regardless. It, is that it? Bro, is that just a thing? Anytime anyone asks for help, they're like, all right. But ever since, uh, ever since they helped Nami on site. Yep. The captain of, of the boat. Bro, Luffy is so unreliable. And I love the fact that he just has like, like at this point, it shouldn't even be like possible. Like, it seems like he has a, like, I don't know how he has such a bad sense of direction. Um, that being said, I did really, really, truly fucking appreciate the fan service of this episode. I think, uh, that was incredible. Uh, I'm so glad my G Sanji is here. He is truly a top G, you know? Um, yeah, I... I assumed going into once like we landed on Alabasta, we were just going to have a bunch of episodes of us just straight throwing hands and like fighting just because it seemed like that was going to be what made the most sense like to me at the time in the middle of a fight and then we're getting filler. Uh, One Piece just doesn't seem like the type of show that would do that. I, I could be wrong. Maybe later on down the line, it, it does become a thing, but this in particular doesn't seem like the situation where that would be the case so i'm assuming that we're gonna have a few more episodes of kind of like setting the table and then we have filler and then we're fighting but i could be wrong about that it just seems like they're setting this up to be a really big fight with crocodile you know what i mean and for everyone who hasn't had the chance yet um please please i i beg you let me know down in the comments if you remember the Brendan Fraser Mummy Trilogy. It's a goaded trilogy. If you haven't seen it, highly recommend. If you're a fan of One Piece and you haven't seen it, you should definitely check it out because uh, clearly, very clearly, One Piece and the Mummy Trilogy share a lot of the same roots. You know what I'm saying? So, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna... No, I'm gonna trigger the One Piece fans. The, the One Piece fans if I compare One Piece to the Mummy Trilogy. And with all that being said, don't forget to hit the subscription button down below. Make sure you tap the notification bell so you get notified the next time I post a One Piece reaction video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.